Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to apply conditional formatting to an entire row. Now, normally conditional formatting is applied to single cells within a, a column or some kind of range. Now, when you've got a table that's quite wide, quite a, a large table, it's quite useful to format the entire row so that no matter what part of the spreadsheet somebody's using, they're always aware that that record meets the criteria. Now, in this example, we have customers and this pretend situation, I would like to format all the rows for platinum members. So column G is where my data is. I want to format the entire row if column G equals platinum. Now, the first thing I need to do is highlight all my cells. So starting from cell A2, I'm going to use some quick keyboard shortcuts. Control, shift, down arrow. Control, shift, right arrow. So that I can quickly select my entire table down to row 92 here. I'm then going to go into conditional formatting and I need new rule. And within new rule, use a formula to determine the cells to format. Now, the reason for this is because I'm going to have to reference a different cell. Normally, you just click on a cell or highlight some cells, create a conditional formatting rule, and they're based on the criteria in the cell that you highlighted. Now, in this scenario, I've highlighted an entire table. So I need to be more specific to the cell that I'm testing. I'm going to type equals and then I need to reference cell G2. That's what I need to reference. That's the first membership type. Now I'm going to type in a dollar sign, then type G2. So I'm fixing column G with that dollar sign, but I'm leaving row two relative. So they can look down across all the rows, all the customers. But for column G, that is fixed. Stay on G. I'm then going to put the rest of my criteria in. So I'm going to type equals. Then I'm going to type platinum within these double inverted commas to denote it as a string. I can then click my format button and apply the formatting that I desire. And I was going to go for a, a kind of light green fill here in this example. And I'll just click OK to, to come out of this screen. When I click OK, there we have it. So now we have the entire row from A7 across to H. Uh, sorry, 73 that was. But um, yeah, um, the entire row from column H, A to column H has been highlighted because that was what I highlighted originally. That was the width for the table. Whatever I highlighted is what it would have done. And that just makes it nice and easy to see if I'm on a smaller screen than this, or I'm zoomed in to quite a, an intense level. No matter what part I'm looking at, I'm always aware that these are platinum members, even though I may not be able to see the platinum information on my screen anymore if I'm using my phone or something. Um, in a table of this kind of size or bigger. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergargar.com.